What do we have here? I've got the seat of power. It belongs to Senator McCarran. Or at least it used to. He hasn't been around for a while. I mean, if this was McCarran's chair, it's got a lot of history to it. You got a squeaky chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming down to the pawn shop today to sell my U.S. Senator's chair. Senator McCarran said it in the Senate. This chair is probably worth $7,000. I wouldn't take anything less than $3,500. A Senate seat is literally a seat on the Senate floor. When you get elected to be a senator, they issue you a chair. So where did you get this thing? I've got friends and ex-employees that worked in the Washington, D.C. area. One of them was uh, attending an estate sale and purchased this chair. And they decided I needed this as a retirement gift. Do you know how much your friend paid for it? No, I don't. All I know is that it just will not fit in my house. Senator McCarran was a very powerful guy in the Senate. He was the first native-born Nevadan to be elected a senator of Nevada. He served during the Great Depression, World War II, the Korean conflict. This was Senator Pat McCarran's chair. He sat in this chair when we declared war on Japan, Germany, Italy. That's a neat piece of history. It is really cool to think that McCarran could have sat in this chair for 20 years. It has an aura about it. You mind if I sit in it? Uh, please do. I do feel like a better person in it. Don't break it. <laughs> to have a senator's chair from an important senator in Vegas, that's a no-brainer. The problem is I've never heard of one coming up for sale. I wouldn't think that family members would let this thing go, but if this is the real deal, I'm buying it. If you've ever flown into Las Vegas, you fly into McCarran International Airport. I want someone to look at it, and I have someone who would know everything about this. I don't know if there's organizations that make replicas of them. And I just want to make sure it's the one that sat on the Senate floor. So let me get him down here. He'll check it out, and we'll go from there. Please do. I think an expert looking at this chair could do nothing but add value to it. It came from an authentic source, I believe. And I'm fairly sure it's real. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Doing well. Hey, Mark, what's going Rich? on? I'm Mark. I'm the administrator of the Clark County Museum System. What have we got here? Apparently a senator's chair. Senator McCarran's chair? Oh, now that's interesting. In the U.S. Senate, we have specific desks. Those never leave the Senate. And in fact, people actually sign their desk, sign the drawer in the desk. The chairs, on the other hand, they have to buy it. But you can take the chair home. So how did you acquire this? I have employees that worked in the D.C. area that bought this from Eva Adams' estate sale. And uh, they presented it to me for retirement. That's really nice. You know who Eva Adams was? No. Eva Adams was Patrick McCarran's office manager in the U.S. Senate. And in 1961, was appointed to be the first female director of the U.S. Mint. Patrick McCarran himself is, is a very interesting character, somewhat controversial as well. There was a book a couple of years ago that said that he was the power behind Joe McCarthy and really did believe that we had, you know, communist infiltration. Patrick McCarran served 22 years in the U.S. Senate. He was instrumental in creating the Civil Aeronautics Authority, helping to create the U.S. Air Force as a separate military. He was also a rabid anti-communist. This is the style that's used in the U.S. Senate. The fact that it's on casters, it has the wheels on the bottom of the, the legs, that's all correct. It has the right age on it, the right patina on it. I think you've got the real thing. This was Patrick McCarran's chair. I just wish you'd come to the museum first, because this would be a wonderful piece in the collection. Don't hate on me. <laughs> I, I, I won't hate you. I do I think understand. The price just went up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Rick. Thanks for thank coming you by, for letting me hey, come thanks, in and see it. You never see one of these come on the market, so what's it worth is really difficult. How about $2,000? It's not a representative's chair. It's not a councilman's chair. It's a senator's chair. How about 5000 I will go three grand, and that is, like, that is it. Um, 3500 I'll go 3100 and not a penny more. OK. All right, let's go do some paperwork. Boy, am I glad he went for 3100 I was really starting to get nervous. It's an awesome buy for us, and I can't wait to get it on display.
Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.